Hi students, and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian, and I'm streaming to you live from beautiful Hungary here in Central Europe near the Danube River. I hope everybody is having an excellent week so far in this class. We are looking at a task to essay. It's the big essay in the writing section of the exam. It's a persuasive essay. Uh, which means you need to make an argument or take a position. And hello, students. Hi, Pachu. Hi, Lexmi. I saw you join in quite early. Hi, Awaz. Good to see members in the class. Hi, Rodrigo. Duarte, another one of our members. Great to see everybody in on time. While we wait for some more of your peers, just a little bit about us. These lessons are brought to you by aehelp.com for academic IELTS help. Check us out here. And if you are learning for the general version of the exam, check us out at gieltshelp.com. On both of these websites, we have some of the world's best materials and strategies and software to help you prepare for your next exam. Spend a couple dollars, save yourself a lot of time and stress. The websites look like this. This is the academic with the blue background. Click that big red button to join the premium package. Hi, Pavan. Hi, Exton. Get to see more members. This is the uh, general version of our website. Click that red button to join us there. And you can also get our apps from your Google Play and Apple App Stores, Academic IELTS Help, General IELTS Help. Install those apps, link it to your web accounts for an amazing learning experience. If you have questions, send me an email, adrian at aehelp. Dot com. Hi, Marasa. Hi, Manpreet. Nice to see many of our regular students as well. Students, tomorrow we will do speaking part two and some more writing. And then on Saturday, we'll have some more classes also. Now, let's get into our task two writing question for the day. Here we go. So, IELTS writing task two. You should spend about 40 minutes on this task. Definitely spend 40 minutes on this task. It's worth two thirds of your total writing score. There are several forms of renewable energy sources such as wind, solar, and hydropower. As the world becomes increasingly concerned about the use of fossil fuels and nuclear power, it is clear that alternative solutions are necessary. Which type of renewable energy source is the best choice and why? Give explanations and examples to support your opinion. Now, if some of you were in the uh, class uh, earlier today, 30 minutes ago, you remember that hydropower means water. So it's electricity and power gained through the use of water. Uh, solar, anybody know what that means? So what kind of uh, power is solar power? Hi, Rajveer. When somebody says solar power, what are we talking about? Pavan says the sun, Hodaya agrees. Yeah, it's sun, so power from the sun. Okay, so first step is to paraphrase this question. Students, whenever you're practicing your task to writing at home, your first step should always be to paraphrase the question to make sure that you understand it clearly uh, to make sure that you know what you should write, uh, give some clear ideas uh, about the vocabulary, the direction of the essay. So let's do that now. Let's do it together. Uh, rewrite this question in your own words. Just make sure that you're clear on what's happening here. I'm going to do the same and then we'll compare between us what you write and what I write.
All right. So there's my paraphrase of the original question. Some types of sustainable power sources exist, such as wind, sun, and water. Since people around the world are becoming more worried about using oil and nuclear power, it is evident that different options are needed. Which kind of sustainable energy is the best alternative and why? Explain and give examples for your position. Okay, so this is a paraphrase of the original question. And by doing this, I'm now clear about the question. I'm starting to get some ideas of what I might write, and I've collected some really good vocabulary. Now, this is not my essay yet. Okay, so this is not the start of my essay. This is not my introduction. This is not enough to write an introduction. This is simply just preparing myself mentally for the essay, making sure that I know what I'm going to write. When you're at home, you want to do this kind of paraphrasing on paper. And when you are sitting the official exam, you need to do this kind of paraphrasing more in your mind, okay? So, Always paraphrase the question for task two on paper at home when practicing and in your mind uh, during your official IELTS exam. This will make sure you understand or let's say you truly understand. Oftentimes I ask students, do you understand the question? And they say, oh yeah, I understand the question. And then I say, can you explain it to me? And that's when I realize that they're in trouble. So in this way, you can make sure that you truly understand the question and gather important ideas and vocabulary, okay? So make sure to do this kind of paraphrasing. All right, so we have this information now. And uh, here, this is kind of an open question, okay? So you can choose different kinds of renewable or sustainable energy to answer uh, the question. Our goal here will be to choose one and think about why we're choosing that. Before I will read a couple of paraphrases that students have written, Awaz says there are different types of sustainable energy sources like wind, solar, and water power. As the world is growing rapidly, it is becoming a serious issue to use fossil fuels and nuclear power. Therefore, alternative solutions are crucial. Awaz, that's a nice paraphrase, okay? Ruslan writes, as people are getting concerned about uh, oil and nuclear power, alternative forms of sustainable energy sources appear to be the best solution, such as wind, solar and hydro. Ruslan, I made a couple of corrections there. Uh, make sure to uh, pay attention, okay? Amira Sadek, our member, says there are many types of sustainable energy sources, wind, comma, solar and hydropower, for instance, since the whole globe has fears around the consequences of using oil and nuclear power, it has become obvious that one of these alternatives is the better direction. Okay, Amir, I made a couple of corrections there as well. Make sure to take note of those. Uh, Roshni says, nowadays, uh, there is a major concern about the overutilization of non-renewable energy like fossil fuel and nuclear power, but there are variant sources like wind, solar, and hydropower. Okay, nice direction, Roshni. I'm liking that paraphrasing as well. So notice, students, lots of different ways to uh, write uh, the paraphrasing. Most importantly, be accurate. 
use your own words and make sure to do it. Okay, Shang Hung, nicely done. I see you're in class. Welcome to the class. Okay, so here, our goal is to choose an option. So I'm going to show you what I would do here. So as step two, take a little bit of a different direction. So this is an open question. Open question means it's not an agree or disagree. It's not a yes or no, but you have to choose one from several and then give reasons. So that really makes it an open question, uh, which means that there are many options and ways to answer this question. Now, when you have this kind of a question in the IELTS exam, and uh, it tells you that there are different kinds of renewable sources like wind, solar, and hydro, I do not recommend finding your own. So please don't uh, start writing about nuclear fission or some other form of power, producing power, such as using wood, burning wood. Uh, please don't do that. Please choose one that's suggested by the question. So here we have three suggestions. We have wind, solar, and hydro. Okay. Use one of the suggestions. All right. So for IELTS, always use a suggested answer. Do not attempt your own. Okay. So for example, in this case, we have solar, hydro, and wind. Okay, so now it's my turn to choose. And immediately I'm visualizing and comparing these. I want to choose one that I think will be easy to write about. So I'm visualizing and thinking which is the easiest to write about. Okay. Uh, let's do this for fun. Let's see who thinks what. So let's make solar power one, hydro two, and wind three. And we'll take a vote. Okay. So everybody put in your votes. What do you think? One, solar, two, hydro, or three, wind. You just need to write the number. Let's take a vote on that. So for humanity's sake, if you're visualizing this, which one do you think would be the easiest choice to write about, solar, hydro, or wind. Okay. Now, don't just listen to me, but take a look at the chat, everyone. So you'll notice that the most popular number that's coming up is definitely solar. And over the last century, there has been a buzz about solar energy, solar cells, and so on, right? So it looks like solar is definitely the most popular. And I agree, okay? I agree that solar would be my choice for this essay. Why? Okay, so choice equals solar, okay? Now that's gonna be my topic. So topic, solar power, controlling idea of my essay, is solar power is the best renewable energy for the future. Okay, so for those of you who watch these classes regularly and you know that identifying the topic and the controlling ideas are very important for good essays, here the topic is solar power and the controlling idea is solar power is the best renewable energy for the future. Why? So this is where I start to use critical thinking. And I start to generate some ideas. So why is solar power the best choice? Why is that the best choice? So Rajvir says it's easy to produce energy from the sun. This is where you want to brainstorm. OK, 
okay? Let's see. Omar says there's an abundance of sunlight, okay? So there's a lot of sunlight. Okay, a nice use of vocabulary. Uh, abundance means a lot. Okay. All right, what else? So Dennis says no need for power plants. We can take that one step further, right? We might still have power plants, but if we don't have power plants, you don't need to build dams and so on. Um, Arsh says it could be cheaper, right? Raman says it's a gift from nature. It's a gift from the sun, right? Okay. <clears throat> so what I do here, students, when I'm thinking, so let's get into the mind of Adrian here. So this is what I think of when I decide on this point of sunlight, okay? So, inside the mind of Adrian, a little known fact that 95% of all power on planet Earth for humans, it comes from the sun. Okay, only about 5% of the energy on our planet that we use as geothermal or coming from inside of our planet, okay? The sun, which gives arguably life uh, on our planet, feeds the plants, us, uh, and so on. Even oil, fossil fuels, is stored sun energy, okay? Keep that in mind. So a lot of people forget that. Okay, so that's what comes to mind. Sun energy, you have this giant burning ball of fire called our sun, our star, and you have this little grain of sand called the earth that's ripping around the sun, and all of this energy is coming from the power of the sun, okay? So that's my starting point in my mind. That's inside uh, the mind of Adrian. Now, next, I think of water, so hydropower, and I think about how do we get that power? I think of wind, and I come to see these large structures, like the large um, wind turbines that maybe some of you have seen that are just massive uh, out in the fields. There are lots of them, these big wind turbines. Then you see these massive dams that are holding uh, water that are just gigantic, and at the end of the day, we all know that building these giant dams and damming up rivers and building these giant wind turbines in itself consumes not only a lot of energy, but disrupts nature. So I come to realize that sun energy is probably the least polluting as well. Okay. So... I could argue that it pollutes less than other forms of renewable energy and that it is more abundant than other forms of energy and thereby cheaper as well. So I have some very clear points now, okay? So I have some very clear points in my mind of why the sun would be an extremely effective alternative source of energy for humanity. We've naturally been using it ever since the dawn of time, okay? All right, so now that I know my points, okay, so my two points is always take the positive side. So point one, it's clean energy. And point two, it's abundant energy. So these would be my two points, clean and abundant energy source, solar energy, okay? 
So now uh, with these points, I'm ready to write the most important sentence of my essay. What's the most important sentence of my essay, students? Okay. So what is the most important essay? And I see a lot of great ideas coming up. Marasa is saying taking up less area. Um, also the possibility to use it on other planets, traveling through space, so on. All right, Roshni, nice. So Roshni says the thesis sentence. Uh, Hodaya, the introduction is a paragraph, not a sentence, okay? Rajvir, yes, the thesis sentence is the most important sentence of my essay. So before I do any writing, I want to compose my thesis statement. We even call it a statement, not, a, not just a sentence. So let's do that. Students, write your thesis statement. It has to be direct, has to be clear, show the voice of the essay. So thesis statement will tell the reader what you're going to write about will include the two points. It will indicate the structure of the essay. So let's do that now. Let's write a direct thesis statement. That's right, Marasa, a direct thesis statement. And let's do that now, and then we will compare what we've all done. I'll write my thesis and give you a moment of peace while you do the same. So... Let's see what you have for your thesis statement. I'll go back to the question for some of you uh, that may have missed it, and I'll explain the word viable in a second, okay? So the original question, again, and it's a good idea to read the original question before you write your thesis statement, the original question was, there are several forms of renewable energy sources such as wind, solar, and hydropower. As the world becomes increasingly concerned about the use of fossil fuels and nuclear power, it is clear that alternative solutions are necessary. Which type of renewable energy source is the best choice and why? Give explanations and examples to support your opinion. That's the original question. Uh, Ruslan, this is the thesis. It's not the hook. Okay. This is the thesis statement. This will be the last sentence of our introductory paragraph. My thesis statement is it is arguable that the most viable source of sustainable energy is solar as it is both clean and abundant. Okay. Nice and simple to the point. It's direct. Okay. Latifa says the most important renewable energy is solar power as it as it provides clean energy and clean and abundant energy. That's it, Latifa. Remember, Latifa, concise, right? Don't overword because then you make mistakes. And in your writing, you have a couple there with parallel grammar. So Latifa, keep it simple. Provides clean and abundant energy. That's it, Latifa. Okay. All right. Amira says, although all renewable energy sources are important, I believe solar is the most efficient, not only because it is abundant, but also it is cheap. Okay. Uh, let's stay on the same page, Amira. You could do cheap, but I would go with 
clean. The reason, Amira, I would go with um, clean instead of uh, cheap is because abundant and cheap are kind of the same. One reason why solar power is cheap is because it's abundant, right? So it's not a clearly distinct point. Abundant and clean are clearly two different points, Amira. So this is for all students. Make sure that when you decide your points for your thesis, for your body paragraphs, you have two separate points. Okay, that's very important. All right, here, abundant and cheap seem separate, but abundant and cheap are kind of the same idea. Okay, hope that makes sense, Amira. Okay. Omar says, although there are many different sources of clean power, solar is by far the cleanest and most uh, reliable option as it is abundant also. So Omar, you want to get the idea of abundant in there as well. Otherwise, you're all on the right track, okay? All right, a um, couple of questions. So uh, here's question one. Uh, according to my thesis, what is the voice of my essay? So according to my thesis, what is the voice of my essay? And this is a little bit of advanced essay writing, but it's very important for students who want to get band seven or more, okay? So in writing, there are three voices, first, second, third. In According to this thesis, it is arguable that the most viable source of sustainable energy is solar as it is both clean and abundant. What's the voice of my essay? Amira says it's third. Juan Pablo says it's third person. Shang Hung says it's third. Rajvir agrees. Nice. It is. It's a third person. Okay. Answer. Third person. There's no using I or definitely no using you, okay? I is first person essays, you is second person voice. Essays, we're not doing that in this situation because the question did not ask for my personal opinion, okay? And it makes sense in this case, all right? Okay, uh, let's uh, ask another question. What, according to my thesis, what will be the focus of my first body paragraph? Okay. So according to my thesis statement, what will my first body paragraph focus on explaining to the reader? That's right. So it will seek to explain that solar energy is clean. Very good. Yeah. Okay, then, of course, uh, the next question that I'm going to ask you is, according to my thesis, what will be the focus of my second paragraph? Okay. And yes, I realize many of you will say, oh, yeah, I know now <laughs> what it is, but I definitely want you to tell me. Okay. Hikmatillo, this is a direct thesis. This is not an indirect thesis. Okay. And I'll explain that, Hikmatillo, in just two seconds. Uh, Rajveer Singh, our member, says it was going to explain that uh, it's abundant energy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that's what a good thesis statement does. Okay. So it is arguable that the most viable, viable means it's the most possible um, 
source. Viable means it can exist and it's able to exist long term. Okay, so that's viable. All right. So from a good thesis, your examiner, your IELTS examiner, or your professor in school should be able to figure out that your choice is solar energy. That's the direction of your paper. You're writing in a third person voice. You're going to focus on clean energy in body paragraph one and abundant energy in body paragraph two. All of that happens from the thesis. This is why your thesis is key to a good essay and to high band scores. Okay. All right. So this is what's called a direct thesis. Okay. Direct thesis equals high band scores. Now the alternative, just so you know, is what's called an indirect thesis. writing in reverse here. So an indirect thesis, I'll give you an example. So this would be an indirect thesis. This essay will discuss the reasons solar energy is the best choice. This is an indirect thesis because it leaves your reader guessing. Your reader's kind of like, okay, good, but I have no idea what those reasons are and I have no idea what you're going to write first, second, third, fourth. So all I know is that you chose solar energy, which is fine, and that you're gonna explain why it's good, okay? So this is an indirect thesis. And this usually leads to lower band scores because especially in academic writing, an indirect thesis is usually considered a weak thesis. Okay. Yeah, Marasa, exactly. So Marasa, you wrote almost exactly what I wrote. Okay. So difference between an indirect and a direct thesis statement. Direct thesis statements are much more valuable to readers, especially academic readers. We don't like to waste time. We don't like to keep guessing. We want to know what you will write about and the structure of your writing. Okay. All right. So now we can compose our introductory paragraph. or simply put, our introduction. Okay, and the introduction should start with a hook. And I know that many students before used to say, oh, my teacher told me a hook is not important for the IELTS exam. Yes, it is. If you want to get a band seven or more, it is. And uh, I know that uh, nowadays, in, in the last year or so, Teachers stopped telling students don't write a hook because they've realized that the hook is important. Um, okay, so the hook is important. You're very welcome, Omar. Uh, Omar, uh, just so you know, and students, uh, our style of teaching the IELTS is uh, knowing from psychology what's needed for this, what universities and uh, immigration and um, examiners are looking for in quality writing and speaking. So we don't just guess or we don't just follow the tips and tricks of other schools and IELTS teachers. We analyze the exam. We analyze band nine results and that's how we formulate our lessons. That's what you can learn from our websites and our premium packages. Okay. All right. Anyway, back to point, back to point. So here, uh, let's start with the hook. Okay. The hook, Simple sentence, about 12 words, okay, that catches your reader's attention and introduces the topic. 
So the topic in a very, very simple way here is energy or power. Okay. So please write a hook for me. Write a hook that catches my attention where I'm like, oh, okay, I want to read. It's really simple. No mistakes, no grammar, no spelling, no word choice mistakes. Keep it simple. First impressions are important for high band scores, okay? Don't make a mistake in a simple hook, all right? That's another reason to write a hook is so that you can start clean. Start with a simple hook so you can start with a clean sentence, okay? So Omar says, the energy issue has become more and more concerning to the public than ever before. Omar, a little bit too long. Uh, so it has a couple mistakes. Omar, say it in a simpler way, okay? In a simpler way, all right? Dina, it's not just a paraphrase of the question. A hook is not paraphrasing the question. It's a simple, factual statement, including the topic of power or energy that catches your reader's attention, okay? Michael Fan says, the application of solar energy is blooming all over the world. Um, too detailed, Michael. We're not there yet. Okay. Joya, too much detail. We're just dealing with power. Okay. Marasa says, solar energy produces tons of energy. Uh, Marasa, you don't want to repeat the same word twice in such a short sentence. You have... Uh, six words, and of the six words, two of them are energy. You don't want to do that, okay? I can't read Cyrillic, but I will read yours, okay? Nowadays, people worldwide look for a new viable source of energy. That's good, okay? That's a good one, all right? That's nice. Pavan says, energy can be neither created nor destroyed. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay, it's a little bit too broad, Pavan. You want to focus it more. Amira says, the sun is considered the source of both life and energy on the planet. Amira, that could work. That's a nice catchy hook. That could definitely work. Uh, Shang Hung says, it is a, there is a consensus that oil and nuclear power are becoming a problem globally. Simple, Shang Hung, are becoming a problem. Okay, how about this? Just keep it really simple. Here's my hook. In the, oh, let's change information. There, that works a little bit better. In the technology age, humans consume more energy than ever before. Okay, how many words is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I even have one word to spare. All right. So, uh, not necessarily focusing on renewable energy yet or solar energy. Okay, don't forget the question. The question targets fossil fuels, other types of energy, worrying about energy. So we're talking about energy, right? So in the technology age, humans consume more energy than ever before. That's a fact, okay? We've never used as much power as we do now with all of our lights, computers, machinery, and so on, okay? Simple, catchy, the reader wants more. No mistakes, okay? All right. What comes after? So here I have my hook. After the hook comes the background. Okay, the background has two elements, definitions plus importance. Okay, so what are we talking about? Why are we talking about it? That's basically the background, right? What are we talking about? Why are we talking about it? And I see that uh, Rajveer, Omar, Hikmatillo, they're on point. Kalok Chan, nice to see uh, a new member joining in. That's great. 
Kalak Chun. Uh, make sure to join the uh, members chat classes as well. Okay. So uh, Kalak Chun says the negative impacts have been increasing significantly by the overconsumption of fossil fuels. Uh, Kalak Chun, I'm not sure if you wrote that for your hook or your background, but that would actually work really well for the background. So that's a nice definition for uh, the way that we create energy and what we're worrying about, right? So that's what you'd want to write, okay? So um, <clears throat> write a background for me, students. So define what we're talking about here in your own words. Give a definition of this idea and then give me the importance. So write your background and I'm going to do the same, all right? All right, so there is uh, my background. Before I read mine, I'm going to read a couple of different ones from students, and let's see if we kind of match up, okay? Rodrigo Duarte says, throughout the years, humankind has been consuming energy from either fossil fuels, such as coal, oil and gas, or nuclear industries, as, as if there were no tomorrow. But now the time has come uh, that this pressing matter must be solved. Rodrigo, beautiful writing, okay? A couple of small mistakes, but otherwise really nice band eight track writing. It's a very clear definition of where we're coming from and where we're going with this essay. Good job, okay? All right. C. Wayne Dobb says, people started concerning themselves about the environment. It is, it is being polluted because of the usage of fossil fuels and nuclear power plants. Um, okay, don't write about Chernobyl, it's too detailed, but the overall idea, uh, C. Wayne Dopp, is perfect, okay? Oyindamola says, in the modern age, consumption of energy has increased, therefore the most reliable source of energy has become a uh, source of concern and focus for people. Oyinda Mola, nice writing as well, okay? Just a little bit of clarity and adjustment on my part, all right? Joya says, the world needs energy sources that are as effective as fossil fuels but come with less harmful pollutants. Switching over to solar is very important because of the eminent threat of extinction. Uh, Joya, good, okay? That's a nice piece of writing as well. Kaluk Chun says, therefore, governments must develop sustainable energy sources with the future, with the future's enormous consumption in mind as well 
as having less pollution. Okay, Kaluk, you have some nice ideas. You want to make sure that you're using good grammar to express those clearly, but you're on the right track. Okay. All right. Here is my uh, background, and you'll notice it's very similar to what you have written. So people have used several different sources to produce power, such as coal, oil, and wood. However, many of these fuels to create energy come with a great cost to the well-being of humans and the planet in the form of pollution. Therefore, alternative power sources must be emphasized. And now comes my thesis, my direct thesis statement. And all I do at this point is just copy paste. And if you're doing the um, computer-based IELTS exam, you can actually copy paste the same way that I've just done here. Now, of course, in the real exam students, please don't write the different parts of your essay like thesis and background. That's just for the lesson. Okay, so uh, here is my introductory paragraph that's going to score me a band nine. Here we go from the top. In the technology age, humans consume more energy than ever before. People have used several different sources to produce power, such as coal, oil, and wood. However, many of these fuels to create energy come with a great cost to the well-being of humans and the planet in the form of pollution. Therefore, alternative power sources must be emphasized. It is arguable that the most viable source of sustainable energy is solar, as it is both clean and abundant. There you go, band nine. Now, if you have an introduction like that, the rest of your essay will flow much more smoothly, quickly, and it will be well structured and coherent. So you'll get a high band score. And that's what we're going to do tomorrow, students. So in tomorrow's class at the same time, we're going to write body one, body two, and the conclusion. Okay. And until then you can think about that. So especially if you've been in my classes before and you know the structure of uh, body paragraphs in the conclusion, you can work ahead and prepare for tomorrow's class. For all of our viewers, thank you for being in this class. Thank you for paying attention. I hope you learned some valuable information on how to develop a high quality essay using a direct thesis. And I hope that I will see all of you tomorrow to finish this essay together so you can see a complete band nine essay at the university college IELTS level. Okay. Again, check us out at aehelp.com and gielts.help.com for HD video lessons over 100 hours covering all sections, as well as interactive courses, applications for your phone, original practice exams, and much, much more, including editing and writing help. The websites look like this, General IELTS, G-I-E-L-T-S help.com. Click the big red button to join. And for the academic blue background, click that red button to join us there. You can use our editing and speaking services also. Thanks again, everyone, so much for being present today. Hopefully see you tomorrow. Much love to all of you from the heart of Budapest here in Hungary, the center of Europe. Bye for now.